What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie Hardwork with another video. Yeah, no, this video is about Harvey Weinstein lawyer, the only black lawyer that he had in this case. And um, about a couple of months ago, um, about a month or two ago, I made a video pretty much talking about Harvey Weinstein lawyer, the only black one he had, because he had four lawyers. And um, one of them I just spoke about the other uh, about a week or two weeks ago. When Harvey Weinstein had that case Friday that he tried to put on the wraps or whatever. So recently he had a case come up, I guess a couple of days ago. They basically um, basically said they're going to go forth with the case, with the rape case. And um, yeah, they're going to go forth with the rape case pretty much. And they're gonna, that case going to be in September. But this particular story I'm about to talk about is not actually focused on that. It's focused on this... Um, Lawyer that Harvey Weinstein got. Um, I forgot his name. Um, it's uh, I forgot his name. I really do. I'm gonna probably put his name in the description. But it's a lawyer. He's a black lawyer that um, because I made a story about him a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. But it's a black lawyer uh, that he was Harvey Weinstein lawyer. So a couple months ago, he was getting a lot of flack from me because he also is the head of the criminal department at Harvard University, and he was also the first black. Dean, there. so he was getting a lot of slack from the Me Too movement. They was coming up there, harassing him, doing a lot of stuff, spray, spray painting all over the buildings, this and that. Mind you, it's three other lawyers in this case. So, fast forward to now, a couple of days ago, uh, I'm not sure, but a couple of days ago, a week ago, I'm not sure the time span, but he decided to remove himself from the um, Harvey Weinstein case because. You know, he was getting a lot of flack from his, you know, from the school and people, the Me Too movement. And, you know, everybody coming at him like he was the actual one that did the raping. So he removed himself from the case. So then, the day after that, the next day, Harvard pretty much put an announcement out that they're pretty much, they're not going to renew him or his wife, mind you. His wife doesn't have nothing to do with this case, but she's also... A lawyer, she also worked at that school. So they decided that they're not going to renew him or his wife um, a contract that's due next month. So now he done removed himself from a case that he could potentially make some money off of, helping his family off of, just so people won't feel some type of way. And then he also is not going to get his contract renewed, him or his wife. And his wife was kneeling on the case. Like, you tell me what you think about that. Now, you tell me that ain't wrong. See, everybody focus on, you know, on, on on certain things and this and that. But this is a big deal. Like, last time when I made a story about this gentleman, nobody said nothing about this guy. Nobody said not one thing about this. Like, okay, granted, he's rep he was representing Harvey Weinstein. I get it. But he's getting more flight than Harvey Weinstein. Then. This, this guy is actually losing opportunities, actually losing money actually losing work, actually getting harassed by the Me Too movement more than anybody else. The Harvey, the Me Too movement, they showing up the cases, but they're not getting harassed by Harvey. I mean, he not, Harvey Weinstein not getting harassed by them. You understand? So that's my whole point. You know, I think people need to focus on this and, and speak about this because this is wrong. You understand? I understand, like I said, he's representing, he was representing Harvey Weinstein, but why should the only black person in this whole case that, that was just doing his job, why should he get harassed? You know what I'm saying? And this is this is a way different from um the Eric Holder case. This is not this have nothing to do with that. You understand? So I just wanna know what you think about it and how you feel about it, because this is strikes me as odd. And I feel like this should be talked about. So um like, comment, subscribe. And you tell me how you feel about this. It's your boy Frankie Hardwork. Easy.